Now, the uh, free trade deal between the European Union and South Korea now into its eighth year requires both parties to implement sustainable development commitments, including the improvement of labour rights. Yet, the EU is demanding an official consultation with Seoul, saying it hasn't exerted sufficient efforts to ratify the conventions of the UN Agency on Labour. Kim Hyo-sun with the details. The European Union is urging the South Korean government to ratify the International Labour Organization, or ILO, conventions. The statement released by the European Commission on Monday asks Seoul to engage in formal consultations with the EU on labour issues. It explained that the two parties pledged to improve labour rights and working conditions under a dispute settlement mechanism in the Trade and Sustainable Development chapter in their FTA concluded in 2011. However, it stated that efforts exerted by Seoul so far are insufficient. South Korea joined the ILO in 1991, but has only ratified 29 conventions out of a total of 189, which include abolition of forced labor and freedom of association and protection of the right to organize and the right to collective bargaining. The EU's FTA with Seoul was its first agreement that included the TSD chapter, but the clause is now contained in its FTAs with Canada, Singapore and Japan. It marks the first time Brussels has demanded government-to-government -government consultations on the issue. Kim Hyo-sun, Arirang News.